All right, people. Uh, this is getting really serious. I don't know why I'm being deleted. Um, it's a stupid radar. Everybody has access to it. It's public radar. Okay. And um, something uh, keeps happening when I am looking at this. So I just was recording offline. Oh, by the way, today is May 6th, 2010. It's 3.30 p.m. I am trying to capture this because I have only a 12-hour window to record that's saved from the previous day of the radar. And this all started at 3 a.m. last night. The threes and sixes show up a lot in this radar, and you will see in a minute. I recorded this donut, and uh, the donut... Is, and the one I just recorded was 66.6 or 66.9 miles across. Um, there's a news article out. Um, I tried doing this. Yesterday. I don't even know if it's even online anymore. I, they're deleting anything I do to talk about this. It will be cut. They'll render the video. And you will see the icon shows up or whatever you call it. Uh, that they took from the live video. And then the live video will be gone. You'll hear my audio in one of them. The video's black. But the icon shows up, or whatever you call it, thumbnail. That they drew right out of my own video. So they deleted the video that showed. That was the night uh, a couple days ago. Where we were seeing the grid forming of these donuts. They were going on the straight line. And uh, every so many miles apart. So anybody can do this there's one right there look at that big baby whoa i just fired this up i don't even know where i'm looking at here hang on davenport iowa did davenport iowa um you got it joliet illinois you now have it there it is right there there's a donut now this is time lapse so you're seeing it quickly the donut shows up and we're gonna measure that baby right here before i get kicked off line here hang on uh, I bet you it's around 3 a.m. I'm just guessing. Let's see. Uh, oh, 3.18, 3.15. Isn't that weird? Now let's get it where it's full running. If you look here, you will see a beam going to the northeast. There's a beam of energy heading this way, which is uh, very interesting. I don't know what it is, but it's interesting. It almost appears that there's one going this direction, too. Like, it's pointing to, like, 5, 10 in the afternoon. If you're looking at a clock, you can kind of picture that. But whatever. Let's not get too confusing here. Let's see. I want to get it when it's nice and round here. Hang on. That's the biggest point. Hang on. Yeah, that's kind of big. Let's see. Let's measure this little bad boy. Distance. We'll go from here across about to there. 75 miles. See it here? Let's go, let's see, center to the edge. 35 miles. So basically, this is a 70-mile round. The reason I'm going to tell you this is because there's a news article, which I had pulled up yesterday, which has now been deleted. I live-streamed it. Um, I'll just summarize it for you. you can believe it or you don't have to, whatever. It's out there. Uh, everybody thinks uh, right now that it's uh, Verizon. Let me make sure I'm online. I don't even know if I'm online. Give me a second here. Anyways, I'll keep talking while I check. Verizon uh, will be back on top with the 5G. However, uh, Sprint is currently leading the pack. And as far as 2019 is going to turn out. And... Uh, Sprint Engineers, I can't remember the guy's name or who he was or what division. It was in yesterday's report, which is now gone, um, which is fine. Uh, they are shocked. This is a 2018, uh, I think it was December 2018, in case anybody ever wants to look it up. Sprint Engineers 2018, December, I believe it was the article. I don't remember the exact date. doesn't matter. Um, they surprisingly found out that instead of just uh, 200 feet maximum for the millimeter wavelength, right, that we've been told that we could see in all the 
now released documents that were top secret back in the 70s uh, that it was so dangerous they didn't want to F with it. Yeah, it shows I'm not even online. Am I even online here? Hang on. Let me uh, adjust the camera here. Hang on. I want to shoot this from the garage, but uh, my camera yesterday, uh, or the computer was acting up, so we'll try it here. Uh, I'm sitting in a chair that doesn't hurt my shoulder so bad, so excuse me for my position, but uh, I don't have a choice. And it's been a few days since I've had a video out, because pain sucks. So, I got to keep moving, um, both physically and rhetoric, or whatever you call it, but not rhetoric. Uh, fundamentally or whatever the frick the word is anyways this has got me so upset i can't even talk um i'm upset for two reasons one what the hell is this number two why am i being blocked about something as stupid as this that anybody can see nobody is but anybody could and uh you know whatever so now look at here do you see a pattern anybody see a pattern here it's 3.15 last night, or this morning. This one's forming. It's going to form in a few minutes. You got one, two, three. Look for the center circles. They're like little hurricanes, right? Right there. That's where the energy is beaming out from, is that little hole. Okay, let's back it up a little bit more. What else is going on at 3 in the morning? Let's take a look. You will start to see, oh, look at the big, big juicy one up in North Dakota. Right there? Let's take a look. Let's see how big that one is. It looks really big from here. Hang on. Uh, by the way, these are not storms. These are not. I don't care what anybody tells you. I have been recording this for two to three years on almost a, at least a weekly basis. And uh, looking at it on a daily basis, all right? So uh, I've never seen this. In the history of three years of doing this, never. Okay, and now we're, and this ain't the only kind of freaky radar. That's 84 miles, so that's a little bit bigger. Uh, North Dakota, you're getting sizzled last night. So was I. It's right by my house. Hang on, I'll show you. First time ever, it's hit my house at 3.30 this morning. Uh, Illinois, we saw the video that's now black screened. Uh, was the first night we saw Illinois light up, and it was southern Illinois. It was Cape Girardeau, Springfield, Evansville, and now St. Louis is online. Look at this. St. Louis, welcome to the club. Now, look at the Des Moines, Iowa, Iowa City, Chicago. That one's in Joliet, according to the map. That goes straight across. Look at Chicago, then Springfield, then uh, St. Louis. That's all in a straight line on an angle. North, east, straight line. Okay. This one down here by Paducah. Hey, Ferret. A little Ferret came out. What are you doing, Ferret? Do you like 5G, Ferret? I have to check the camera and make sure I'm not... You're just look, looking at my T-shirt or whatever. Okay. Clarksville, Tennessee. You've had one for a few weeks or about two weeks now. Um, that's old news. Anyways, I don't know if it's on tape anymore, but uh, it was at one point. Anyways, this one in southern Illinois, right on the Kentucky border and all that. Here. I want to see how big. I haven't done this yet. Well, how big is that center, like the eye of the hurricane, so to speak? And let's see. This one goes from Metropolis, Illinois, over the river and through the woods, etc., etc. It's measured as badass here. Hang on. I got to take number one out. Okay. That's about I, uh, 35, 37 miles, depending on. Hang on. So at 35 miles center, then it doubles its. So however big this center one's going to be is a good gauge so far that I could tell how big the whole circle is going to be. This does not include the bullseye ones. The bullseyes are something else. I don't know what those are. I've got, 
and, and if it's still online, I don't even know. I, I'm so pissed off that they're deleting live streams um, in the rendering process. Um, I even had to videotape myself with my cell phone just to document that I'm not crazy uh, when it wouldn't render. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, if you're sitting at 35 miles center, edge to edge, then you could probably safely say it's 70 miles all the way around. It's like double the width. And here, there's an airport right here, by the way. I remember this one from the storm the other night. I remember zooming in on this, that there was an airport down here, right? It's probably where the antenna's at, is what I'm guessing. And that's right at the Kentucky-Illinois border. It's called, uh, let's see here. This is just so we know where the center of the hole is. Uh, Bakery Regional Airport, or Berkeley. Berkeley Regional Airport. I'm on a little screen right now, so it's a little hard to see this. Hang on. So that's interesting, right? Because if you uh, fly at all, uh, you may be wanting to pay attention to what I'm about talking about here. Because... You could also, and I'm not going to look it up no more because nobody, if you're not looking it up, then you don't care. So there is reports that the FAA or whatever, their, whoever does air traffic control was worried when 5G started rolling out that it would do this. Exactly what we're seeing. They said because radar is the same freaking frequency as your new cell phones are going to be and your new internet for your free porn and all that. Um, then you're only going to get like four times the speed you're getting now. So if you're willing to let this shit be all around your body and stuff, we've been taking measurements all over here with EMF. You're not going to believe how high the standing levels are now. They used to be 20, 30, 40 micro Tesla. <laughs> not anymore. And this isn't even up yet. This, this, is, this hitting my area is new as of 3 o'clock this morning. So... I'd like to see where they're going to jump to now, but we're we're doing a, a video on that. We're going to have some good information for you there because nobody's paying attention to it. And it's not because you don't want to. It's because you don't even know what's going on. And I didn't either. It was by accident. I was doing a base level reading that I found something out that is blowing my mind. And uh, you'll see it soon. Um, if you... Uh, fly let's say and you're landing and there's other airplanes in this soupy mess of shit this is what the faa or whoever it was the association for the air trade whatever it was one of those associations okay they said we're worried we won't be able to see the planes through this soupy shit well guess what if there's a plane flying through here would you see it now i don't know how tall this is because i don't pay for the extra radar to see the three-dimensional part of it I don't do weather forecasting, so I don't need that. But if somebody out there by chance does, and you're up at 3 o'clock in the morning, start looking for these donut holes. And when you see it, let me know how tall they are. Do a video on it. Because how high up it goes is kind of important. If that's only going 1,000 feet, then you're only not seeing the tower, and the tower can't see the plane for a short period of time, right? That's no big deal. A couple thousand feet, you're flying blind. Big deal. You got to have some excitement, right? So um, if that doesn't wake you up, then don't worry about it. Um, I don't know what else to say. They put the warnings out. I didn't understand it until I started seeing it. When you see this radar is totally blocking everything near it. As a matter of fact, when we first started seeing this two, three weeks ago, Indianapolis, uh, Mooresville was the first one near me. Not even that close, but the closest one to me was right down here. Southwest side near Bloomington, Indiana, between Bloomington and Indianapolis. Um, that one, really weird, isn't turned on right now. And during this time, this is three, this is by 10 a.m. here. Let's back it up a little bit. Now, that's 3.30. Let's roll through it. 3.30, 4.30. And they're turning them off about 5.30. Right before rush hour, they turned it off. 6.30, they're off. So you had three hours last night. And now they're off. 
And uh, this video is going to be black probably by the time it renders. So if you're not seeing it live right now, you're not going to see this. So sorry about that. I don't know what to do. Anyways, this. And if you don't catch it, you're not going to see it. That's the point. If you're not playing radar, if you're just looking at the last hour, you're not going to see this. This is from last night or this morning, whatever you want to call it. There's also some smudging going on here. You can see right here that there's a circle where they're blocking it out. Now, here they're showing Indianapolis does have it on. This is so weird. 3.30, it is on. There it is. I just had to refresh the screen. So, it's because I was up on that other screen. So, you did have it on last night, Indiana. I'm sorry. And now they got it in northern Indiana. Warsaw, it looks like. Fort Wayne, Warsaw, South Bend. Because it covers 70 square or circular mile, whatever you want to call it, the circle. Um, so anybody within 70 miles of that hole, go outside with an EMF meter, frequency meter, whatever you got. Anything that shows energy, you're going to see it. You're going to detect it. So, or don't, whatever. Now, here's the Mooresville one to see. This is the first one I saw or near here, and that was about two, three weeks ago. Uh, this Indianapolis bad boy right here. Hang on. And here, Cape Girardeau to Indianapolis. What? 214. One, two, three. Let me take this one off. 210 miles across there. I mean, you can keep measuring these. In, you can start plotting out, like, how far. If it's 70 miles circular, you're going to see where they're putting up. I don't know what this is, by the way. I have no idea. This could be man-made. This could be a natural phenomenon. I don't know what the hell this is. It's just weird timing that it's around the 5G. So I'm not saying it's 5G. I'm saying it probably is because of the timing. But this could be like uh, some weird new weather phenomenon created by all those brown and yellow crap you're seeing that they call pollen every day. I've seen a lot of you caught the... Uh, I couldn't. I didn't have one here. Otherwise, I would have taped it. The um, the ring was up yesterday in a lot of the country, and um, that's not pollen. That's not anything but brown, yellowish chemicals. And there is a brown, yellowish chemical that I've already done a video about, and um, it's got a real. It's kicking me out. What happened? What the hell just happened? I just lost my browser. Here we go. Here we go. Where'd my browser go? I didn't touch anything. Oh, you bastards. All right, I'm going to end it here because they're, they're about to kick it out anyways. All right, this is Wag Chicago. This, you guys better, better or not, I don't, I don't know what to tell you anymore. This is crazy. I'm out of here.